All right, good morning, good morning, guys. We're back at it again. So it's been a while since I posted a video on this because we've had to redo all the base rails across the entire garage. So I was under the impression, which was, um, which I later found out was definitely incorrect, is that we just put the base rails together and just slam them together. Um, but what we're supposed to be doing is measuring from this one here to this side right here and making sure that we're keeping our four foot on center basically length all the way across. And then what we've been doing now, since we have, we've had to take everything up, basically cut all the anchors and redo everything, is that once we slide this piece into here, we measure our four foot on center, and then we take two of the framing screws to basically lock this piece at that dimension, and then we anchor it down to the ground. So this is a really good lesson, actually two lessons. Main lesson being, read the instructions because it states very clearly that you have to be measuring the four foot on center all the way across and I was not doing that. The other lesson here is something that I learned when I was framing up the tiny house is especially for doing a lot of framing and for doing a lot of bending over is that it can be very difficult on your back. So especially for doing um, a project of this magnitude is to really kind of take your time and make sure that your body heels before you start working at it again. So those are our quick little tips for today. We're just gonna finish off doing these base rails and then we're gonna start on doing the headers for the, uh, for the garage doors. So these are kind of tricky to get into place because we have to lift them up so high. So these ones are only 11 feet high, but the ones for the other garage doors are 14 feet tall. So what we've been doing or how we did this one here is that uh, we put the, uh, the header on the front of the scissor lift, and then we actually just lifted it into place. Now, what we're gonna do first before we start putting in the other one here is we wanna start putting our hat channels across. So the hat channels keep things nice and plumb, and that's definitely important. So we wanna make sure that all of our vertical pieces are nice and plumb. Now, there are these hat channel pieces every four feet going all the way up. Uh, I think we're just gonna put the first row on here. There's also one down at the bottom, but this row right here to keep everything plumb but I don't think I'm gonna put them at the top yet until we've installed the trusses. And the reason for that is because when we're installing the trusses, there's gonna be a crane that's gonna be putting them into place and I'm gonna be zipping around on the, uh, on the scissor lift and we might need to just kind of adjust things just a little bit just to make sure that things get into place. So I think we might just go up this tall or maybe one, one higher um, just to ensure that things are gonna stay plumb and that we still have a little bit of uh, jiggle room. All right, so how we're ensuring that the door frame here is gonna stay plumb while we install the hat channel, because it's just a little bit off plumb, is that we're gonna use just some standard ratchet straps, attach them basically to the other side here, and then just ratchet it all the way back to plumb. So we'll have Brian check the plumb. You're good. Right there. It didn't have to go far. Yeah. So yeah, some of them, they're a little bit more off plumb than other ones. Some we just need a, just a little bit just to hold it into place. And when we have this one in place, then we can remove the level off of it. Go on to the next one here. And then basically Brian can just lean on that or pull it into place. So the measurement between these hat channel pieces, it's like three, foot 10 and 11 sixteenths or something like that, basically three quarters, um, basically on center. So we have to get the first piece in place and then we're gonna take a measurement from the top here, go up three foot 11 and, and uh, three foot 10 and 11 sixteenths. And then we know where the top of the next piece should be. So we're just gonna take some of our uh, self-tapping framing screws and get these in. So we can make our mark and what I did because all these hat channel pieces are at the same dimension up is that I made a little tick on my tape measure at that exact distance so I know 
exactly where it is and then I don't have to try to keep finding it. I don't know whether it was 310 and 11 16 or 311 and 11 16. Yeah, so now I don't have to think. And what's also really handy is having these quick clamps. So we'll get this one screwed in first because we know that this one is plumb right now. Is that we can loosen this up here and then push it into place. Want a little pass if that's all right. That's right on the money. Oh yeah. So we can use a quick clamp to hold the hat channel up against the, the, the framing piece here, just to keep it uh, vertically level, as they say, or plumb. Yeah, that's good there. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna double check so that's still level. We'll bring it over to the other side here. So we wanna make sure that this one is also nice and vertically level or plumb. But this one's gotta go the other way. It's gotta go that way. So in order to pull this one that way, we're gonna wrap it around the, the door frame down there. Okay. So then we got Brian there. Yeah, I need a few clicks. Or, pretty close. Or, or. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Money shot, baby. I don't think that's, I don't know if that's appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Some people will know what I'm talking about. Derek, get your mind out of the gutter. I'm not gonna watch your YouTube channel anymore. Someone really disliked the Billy Madison reference. I'm like, that is like a Someone classic. Them. Yeah, they're like, oh, I don't wanna hear that garbage on your videos. And I'm like, whatever. One thing that you will know, if you tell me not to do something, I will make a point to keep doing it. So we got this plum. Now we already have this hat panel down there. So when we did these garage doors or that door header, we, uh, we got these two pieces uh, plumbed up. Now we gotta make sure that this one here is. We're gonna load the header and that thing, the headers weigh about uh, like 150 pounds or so. It was uh, heavy for two of us to lift, let's say that. So we're gonna get it onto the front of the lift and then get her, uh, get her into the, I can't even talk, get her into the right spot. Oh. You see this hollow metal and you're like, ah, oh, it's not, not gonna be too it's bad. It's not that bad. And then you pick it up and you're like. Heavier than it looks. All right, we'll set this down. Let's your pivot. There we go. Oh, well, you can. oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let me move the camera. <laughs> you gotta appreciate all these shots that I do. I mean, I can definitely push, I just don't know. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, by the way, we checked the weight on this and with myself and with this on here with a little bit of extension, we should be fine. You look like you're right about on right now. Okay. Straight, straight ahead. Maybe a hair to your right. Yeah, you're in. Lightest gap over here. Can we go check that one? this side just this okay now, keep going oh, yes yes that looks good that's gonna go in okay you're good you're good <laughs> yeah yeah there yeah you go. there we go you're in ah there we go whoa oh, yeah. got it oh yeah all right guys you're coming on a ride in the lift with my Gotta attach this, I haven't even done that yet. Derek, you're not even attached to the lift. What's the point of wearing a harness? That's, that's a good question.
All right, guys, so while we're up here, what we have to do is we've got these little angle brackets right here. So we, we're gonna put one up here, one right there, and then on the garage side door, one right there. So since we've done the other one, we've already kind of figured out a good technique of doing this, um, just because we wanna get these obviously to match up nice and flush with the vertical uh, framing members. So we can use our trusty quick grips to just make sure we hold that into place there. So then just with some of these tech framing screws, we can get this butt baby into place. It's very successful day. None of this uh, hokey pokey crap where we're one step forward, two steps back. This was like three steps forward today. So we got all those base rails done. We got the headers in place. And if you're wondering whether or not, um, so things are plumbed this way, but this way, um, before we put the trusses in, we're gonna put some concrete stakes in the ground, use some two by fours to make sure that they're also vertically plumbed the other way. So big thanks to Brian again. Uh, you can check out his channel, Midlife Prices. I'll leave a link in the description box. We also got a few days left of our Rammed Earth Basics sale. 
So if you want to grab it for $10 off, you just got a few more days left, I think, until Thursday. So jump on that. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.